Purple Power. It's days like this that you wonder where you can focus the most in your Purple Power. Less than 24 hours ago, I told you to refocus, ignore negative Nancy, ignore messy Mitch, <laughs> and really focus on getting to the finish line. Focus on Steve Mnuchin's offer, which was really good 1.8. Focus on getting all the push and supporting it and getting to the finish line. And also support executive orders and seats for stimulus. Tonight, we see that Mnuchin and Trump, especially Trump, wants to go higher. Trump may bring us all the way to 2 trillion, 2.0 trillion, as I've been reporting for months. So the question is, as you sit here with Purple Power, could you push, should you push and ask for bigger stimulus checks or multiple stimulus checks, considering that the problem solvers bill does have a second stimulus check? This is Purple Power. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is a special edition of Purple Power in an item which we are doing incredibly well. Great news across the board. Incredible great news. That Steve Mnuchin has raised his offer once, then again, and then midday the president said, you know what? We're going higher. We're going higher. How high? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> subscribe to this channel and you'll find out. Uh, that's, how I, that's how I anchor it. <laughs> a lot of big developments on a day like this. So you absolutely have to be subscribed. I really appreciate the new viewers jumping in, coming into this channel. 292. 292,000 subscribers. We're reaching 300,000. Let's do it together. Also like this video. In this video tonight, I'll be going over where to apply pressure. Next, I'll be going over Steve Mnuchin, where we are with Steve. The checks, the amount of the checks, the time. I mean, then the issue of executive orders, and then seats for stimulus. All right, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news tonight is determining where to apply pressure. Well, <laughs> in a day in which there's a Twitter outage, yes, there was a Twitter outage for many hours, um, you need to really apply the pressure. And the pressure now is sort of changed. The pressure now is do executive orders, seats for stimulus, but also, this is a really good deal. Do this deal. Do the deal or you're acting silly. <laughs> and you know who that message is for, of course. The deal amount we're at tonight is really not clear. We're clearly above one point. Eight, we may be at about 1.5, and the president's suggesting we're going perhaps to 2. And at some point, the president's going to want a social media reaction. He's going to want America to say, I got, uh, the president got us to 2 trillion, and Nancy's acting silly because she wants exactly 2.2. And Nancy says, no deal at 2.0, she wants 2.2. Two. I believe that uh, is just around the corner. I believe that social media play by the president is just around the corner. So Purple Power, you should preempt it and be ready right now and say, one eight is fine. Let's get it done. We'll have our ha our money in our hands within ten days, fourteen days. Let's get it done. What are you wasting time for? Um, and make it very clear that you're both a Republican and a Democrat, because ultimately the the nuance of this is that Pelosi is using the inability to get a deal done as a way to elect a Democratic president, which is really not fair. I mean, no one will co-sign that idea as a real Democrat. No, Joe Biden can win on his own accord, and Donald. Trump can win on his own accord. You don't need to be playing partisanship for a stimulus bill to get someone elected. It's just not fair. Steve Mnuchin, turn to him now. Steve Mnuchin has clear, clearly gotten the message from this channel. He has followed the problem solvers. Then he's gone above the problem solvers. Then he's raised the stimulus amounts. Then he's changed the provisions so that they're better for you. So what other messages could you get out to Steve Mnuchin as Purple Power tonight that we have not gotten out clearly before? One, I mean, you could still really push to get this retroactive date for FPUC back to late July. He's at September. 15th or something. So he's a money guy. Play the money play with him and say, hey, you know, I didn't get, I won't be getting FPUC for the entire month of August. That's not fair. I didn't get LWA because I don't qualify for LWA. Please do FPUC retroactive to the end of FPUC 1.0. You can look up the date. I think it's late July. Um, and that will basically say, hey, it's not fair that I'm losing four weeks of FPUC. Try the play that play. Also, checks. Try to push Mnuchin on checks. First, 
try multiple checks. He's always said he'll do multiple checks, but try to get the multiple checks in this bill. This thing of doing multiple checks progressively in different bills, I don't like. I'd rather have them all in the same bill. So try to get to push him for multiple checks. There's different ways you can do it. You can do a Harris-Sanders push. The Harris-Sanders bill was $2,000 check every month for six months or until the pandemic improves or on a plane on unemployment goes down. I think he may not do that because that's too cost too much money. But what he may do is the problem solvers bill because the president said he would do the problem solvers bill. Well, the problem solvers bill says just give another stimulus check next March. You may prefer that as well. Third, timing. Um, wow. If we got this done on any particular day, you'll get the money in your hand about 10 days electronically thereafter. If you're signed up for SS for electronic payment for any of your benefits or for electron or anything for the IRS, this is incredibly great news. Um, if you're not and you do it by paper check or something paper oriented, it will be a week later. Executive orders. Now, let's turn to executive orders. The importance of executive orders are so clearly tied up right now because of a fake narrative. And you saw that fake narrative. I'm not going over fake narratives. But there's a new fake narrative out of the White House that um, Nancy Pelosi is to blame for everything. We've identified $800 billion of unused first and third CARES Act money. We want to repurpose this and use it for stimulus, but dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not repeating the fake narrative because it's untrue, but the point is there's $800 billion now allocated, excuse me, now identified for stimulus, stimulus checks, FPUC, rent, uh, you know, airlines. Do the executive orders with the $800 billion. Don't play this fake narrative, you can't do it. Now, ultimately, you can decide how to, how to phrase this when you push purple power, but let's, re, let's be smart here. Let's remember the facts, and no one, can dis, no one can run from the facts. FEMA was federal disaster relief funds for tornadoes and earthquakes and fires. The president found the money and repurposed it for the purposes of LWA, that FPUC special program called LWA that went on top of unemployment benefits. He did not ask for Congress approval. He did it by executive order. And he didn't ask anyone's approval to send out, you know, disaster relief fund for fires to people as unemployment benefits. He just did it. And he did it. And it was successful. And no one challenged it. And states accepted it. Blue states, red states, purple states, every state accepted it. So what are you scared about, scaredy cat? Just do it. Just do it. You've done it before. Do it again. You have $800 billion. You could be doing another round of LWA right today. What, what is the problem? There is no problem. So purple power, got to push on that. And that's executive orders. Just do it. Finally, seats for stimulus. Seats for stimulus needs to be made very clear. And it's especially now because there is an incredible movement. And that movement is not just our movement. The movement is the, the reaction to the implosion last night from Pelosi and Blitzer, Wolf Blitzer. That type of broadcast goes to Main Street, Main Street, Main Street America. They all saw that. They all saw that there was a deal offer from Mnuchin from the White House. The deal offer was a lot of money. They hear the number one eight. They hear her number two two. Everyone knows that one point eight is close to the number two two. They're not far apart those two numbers, and they're being told, well, they could have relief, but the one person wants two two, and the other person's at one eight, and that. We're not given a clear explanation of why the person won't accept 1-8. Well, there's incredible movement now, and what you need to do, Purple Power, is really push on on these, these senators and these House representatives and say, hey, you've not given us stimulus. You have played this card badly, and the card has been blame Mitch McConnell for you not having stimulus, blame the Senate Republicans for not giving you stimulus. No. Now Trump is turning around saying, blame Nancy Pelosi for not giving you stimulus. Because ultimately, I'm at 1.8, 1.5 today, heading to 2.0, and now she won't even accept any of this. She wants an extra, you know, 0.5. It's not going to work, and it won't work for her at all. So push purple power. All right, let me answer some of your incredible questions from last night. 
Mr. President, do the executive order now, says Stephen Smith. Derek, the American people have only received one check since April and haven't seen a dime since then. What a nightmare. Christina, three days. It shouldn't take this long to get stimulus. <laughs> it's been longer than three days, Christina. Trina, she's literally using the American people's leverage. She is. Kelly, no, I no longer brag about this great country we live in. Jim Pats, $2,000 for the people, no raises. Amen. Randy Pierce, and just think, these are the people that make laws. They can't even choose between Cheetos or cornflakes. Larissa, any moron would be able to detect the American suffering without being told to do it. Jim Pats, folks, we, when you see Trump at a rally, yell executive order and hold up signs, pay us now. I love that. I love that. AI Marvin, you don't think people are not emailing, twittering the president every day? Yes, they are. It's called Purple Power. Paula Lloyd, our President Trump, time for stimulus check executive orders. EQ, we're in a big trouble, gang. It's not looking good for our country. It is looking good. Just got to stay positive. William, it's embarrassing. Uh, James Adventures, America is just like the Titanic. Deanna Thomas, we need to form a strike protest. Jenny, actually showing up at Trump rallies with signs for executive orders is an excellent idea. Everyone keep faith and keep pushing. I love that. Tammy, let's face it, we're... Um, a, a negative comma, which I'm not reading. <laughs> Tana, good evening, Allied and Purple Power family. Well, good evening, Tana. A lot of twists and a lot of turns. And this is really why you have to stay with me in a given day. I mean, this channel now has five hours of broadcasting per day, starting at 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with more early mornings LA late, that's 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there's so many twists and turns in a given day that you literally can miss it if you miss a broadcast. Then we go to mornings, then we go to afternoons, and then we go to evenings. Boy, what a lot of twists and turns. So join me tomorrow morning on early mornings LA late, and then join me on mornings LA late. Go to the front of the channel and subscribe because wow, we're getting through this together and we will get to the finish line. Also like this video. See you tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. with two broadcasts starting with early mornings, first broadcast at 3 a.m., and then the next one at 3.30. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay with Ally for more.